while 1.1 million people lose power in the eastern U.S. due to storms, that's a lot of people to lose power. Welcome back. Deadly storms ripped through the eastern U.S. At least two people have died, and at its peak, more than a million homes and businesses were without power. Thousands of flights were canceled here in the U.S., and ABC's Faith Abube has the latest on that. More than 600 severe storms tore through the eastern and southern parts of the country last night. Overnight, 40 million Americans were under high alert due to the severe weather. Tornadoes spotted in several states. In Maryland, 33 adults and 14 children were trapped on a highway for hours after these utility poles were blown onto dozens of cars due to the fierce winds. This is going to take some time to fix. The damage from last night is significant and it will take time to make sure that we are getting everything done. In Harford County, Maryland, falling trees trapped multiple people in their buildings. Firefighters needing to rescue them. This man had just arrived home. Walked in to turn my computer on and bam, it happened. And I had three or four huge trees fall right onto my property. A similar scene playing out in Pennsylvania after trees took out the backside of this man's home. Apocalyptic horticulture, that's what I'm saying, it's crazy. In Washington, D.C., federal workers sent home early. At one point, more than a million people were without power around the nation due to the storms. In Alabama, authorities say a 28-year-old man was killed when he was struck by lightning while he was working outside. In Tennessee, trees uprooted and cars crushed. These windows shattered at this apartment building from the storms. The storms leaving thousands of passengers stranded after their flights were delayed or canceled. Atlanta, New York and Washington, D.C. among the cities most affected. And as the cleanup continues in hard hit areas like here in Maryland, forecasters are warning of another round of severe thunderstorms and flash flooding in the New England area. In Westminster,